Good morning, Greyhounds, and welcome to this edition of Leader of the Pack. My name is J.D. Arlen, alongside Ethan Noel, to bring you the very best in Carmel sports. Ethan, let's get it started. We're going to talk about the cross-country season so far. Well, it's been a great cross-country season so far for the Greyhounds, as they are looking to win the state championship after finishing second last year. Defending state champion Ben Veach is an asset for the Hounds, looking to build on his already stellar career. Yeah, so far, Ben Veach this season has been extremely successful. We've seen Veach in practically every situation you can imagine. This kid is a D1 commit. He's one of the best in the nation, so I don't see any opposition to that state title. You talk about an individual champion, that's Ben Veach. Well, he's already won every single race he has ran in this year, including breaking the Carmel single course record, or single race record, excuse me, with a time of 14 minutes and 52 seconds. Feech is an animal when it comes to running. And, you know, I really think one thing he does is he plays from a team mentality. And we talked a little bit to him about this, and he always wants what's best for the team. Um, speaking of that package, we had the chance to follow Ben around to talk to him about the season so far and his future in the sport. Let's take a look inside of Ben Veach and the cross-country season so far. Seeing the effortless stride of one of the most successful runners in Carmel history is almost like watching the pros. Every once in a while, I'll be running and just be like, wait a minute. Like, we're running with like an All-American right now. And so that's just kind of funny to think about uh, that we're literally running with one of the best dudes in the nation every other day. But Clocking in with a school and personal record at 14.53, senior Ben Veach is immortalized in CHS running history. We got the chance to talk with Ben and teammate Teddy Browning in an interview. I don't really focus on time much. Um, it was a big accomplishment and I realized that, but my ultimate goal is to help this team. Um, and it's, it's a good accolade, but I don't really hang my hat on that. I want to, I have a lot more I think I can offer to this team than just running fast. And um, yeah, it, it, was, it was a good accomplishment, but I've, I've moved forward and I think I can run faster. Well, freshman year, Ben was extremely overconfident, uh, but he's, I mean, if you walked into the locker room, you wouldn't know, you would have no idea that he was an All-American. He's a super, super humble guy, uh, confident when he needs to be, like he should be, but super, super humble, and that's, that's pretty cool. One of my mentors, Bobby Browning, he was a senior um, when I was a sophomore, and he was kind of that leading role on the team. He taught me what it was to be a good runner and to stay modest and focus really on the team aspect more than the individual because that's really what matters. Just to model after one, how he trains, he does all the little things, except eat right, he does not eat right. Uh, yeah, I think he's a perfect role model and I think he sets himself up as a role model too. Um, easily approachable and just sets, sets the right tone and sets the right mood. Yeah. Uh, I consider myself sort of the leader of the team. Um, right now, I'm the only uh, senior on the varsity right now. Uh, some of the other guys have incurred injuries and are after the season, but um, I try to be the role model that Bobby Browning was for me, um, lead these guys and show them how we go about things and what the tradition at Carmel is. The goal is going into the season were to win the state title um, and be the best team we could be. Uh, the state tournament, is, the, state the state meet's coming up uh, in two weeks. Um, so we look to accomplish that one. Um, and we have been the best team. We've had some setbacks with some guys getting injured, but we've moved on. Um, I think we're in a great position to accomplish our ultimate goal um, of winning state and then qualifying for the national meet. Um, I think we're on the right, pro we're, we're on the right road. In fact, they were on the right track. Ben Veach went on to lead Carmel to a state championship, placing first in the race. Ben also committed to Indiana University, where he plans to continue his education and cross-country career. That's all we have for you. Back to you guys. It was great getting the chance to sit down with Ben and Teddy to talk about the season so far. But, Ethan, as the year ticks on and the leaves begin to fall, the only thing on people's mind is basketball. We've got a great basketball season just ahead. Do you have any predictions? Well, Carmel, they're in a rebuilding year, if you want to say that. They lost their best player, two best players in Ryan Klein and Keegan Colt, but they still have Preston Flamian coming back. He's their third leading scorer from last year. And it's going to be more of a team mentality this year. Last year was a lot of Ryan Klein, and this year I think we're going to get back to heady ball 
how he, they won two state championships in a row. Yeah, you talk about heady ball. That's the, the strategy of Coach Hetty, of course. And that's passing the ball around yep. a lot. That's looking for different ways to get to the hoop. And it was so distinct last year. We had those t two D1 commits. Um, it was like almost give the ball to Ryan Klein and see what happens was their whole strategy. And when you're talking about a team that's going far in a state championship or in a postseason, you can't just rely on yeah. one player. So now we'll really get to see the team develop as a whole rather than just having a couple of superstars. Exactly. And, you know, Sam Alfont. He's, had, he's been on varsity all three seasons, but he's never had his chance to sh shine, and that's who I think we really need to look out for this year. He needs to step up as this is his last season. Oh, yeah, for sure a leader of the pack next year. But I, I think next year we're going to see a lot, on the boys' side anyway, from Preston Flaming. He's nicknamed Presto for a reason. He gets under the hoop. He finds those openings that nobody's really available to, to find. He gets under the basket. He's like a ghost when he goes to the hoop because nobody can touch him. And I think that's something really important for a high school basketball yeah. player is getting those openings and getting a strategy that isn't necessarily based on shooting, but it's based on assist and it's based on helping the team overall. Um, Ethan, men's basketball isn't the only sport that we have to offer. Do you have any predictions for the women? Well, the women coming off a coaching change after the, the last year was their coach's first year. They, they're still getting into the groove of the system. But this year, you got to look out for Celine Funky. She's a three Three, she's a three-sport varsity athlete. She's their point guard, and they're gonna need if the if she plays well, they will they will be good this year. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I think one thing to look out for on the women's side is a mentality of the whole team that they really are coming yeah. for. You know, they got knocked out in sectionals last year, and that's never good as a team. That that can't feel good, and it, it's a heartbreaker for all the seniors that had to go home as that is their last season. But somebody that's been on the floor for three years now that I'm really looking forward to seeing is Olivia Christie. She started playing varsity as a freshman. Now she's had time to develop, just like a fine wine. She's had time to age. She's ready to compete at a level that we're seeing um, throughout the MIC and throughout the IHSAA. So I think we're really going to see an explosive year for her. Well, going back to them losing in sectionals, you know, that doesn't happen to Carmel sports teams. And, yeah. You know, it's a heartbreak when it does happen, like the girls' soccer team this year. It doesn't happen that much, and when it does happen, most of the Carmel community is shocked. And now they have to build upon that and make a deeper run in the playoffs this year. They're certainly going to have to have a little bit more success, and I think they will yep. with the coaching change based on what we said. That's all we've got for this month's Leader of the Pack. Stay tuned to CHTV throughout this month for scores, updates, and analysis of your favorite Greyhound sports. Connect with us on social media with our Instagram at Carmel TV and Twitter at CHTV. Signing off for CHTV Sports, this has been Ethan Noel alongside J.D. Arlen. Stay classy, hounds, and we'll see you in the next three weeks.